Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode six of Not Your Typical Couple in New York City. Yes. So today we brought you a very fun and、um, insightful exercise, I would say,、um, that we recently did as a result of、uh, one of my coaching sessions. So in、uh, my earlier, in our earlier episodes, I mentioned that I have a coach. Um, and、um, during last week's conversation,、um, she asked me to do this very interesting exercise, which we'll explain in a minute.、Um, but I also invited Lincoln to、yep. do it with me, and we decided to share because we think it's a wonderful、um, exercise that you can do with your loved ones, or you know, basically anyone that you would like to understand more and know more. And this is such a great exercise. Would you agree? Yeah, and after doing this exercise, both of us feel very pleased and very excited about each other after we sharing each other's like、mm-hmm. notes like this. This is my version. <laughs> yeah.、Mm-hmm. So、um, also my version when I, when we explain、yeah. the exercise. But yeah. So even if、um, you are doing it with someone, you even if you feel like you already know that person for so long, you absolutely have understood every you know nuts and bolts about that person. Do this, and then you'll be surprised how much you probably、mm-hmm. have not explored yet about the other person's wants and needs and and、yeah. drives and desires. <laughs> yeah. So I, we talk a lot about this, and I think our audience must be very curious. So, Effie, can you tell me, like, tell us, like, what is this exercise? Yeah, of course. So this exercise is called a ten minutes free writing. So basically,、um, you are given only ten minutes, and once the ten、okay. minutes is up, and you have to stop. And it's basically a free writing exercise where、um, you are given a topic. So the topic that we have is who am I when I give myself full permission? And this is what I wrote in my ten minutes. Much、um, clearer than I. Than <laughs> I thought yours is. Too,、mm-hmm. um, but the, you know, I mean, the purpose is not to make this、uh, something that's you know already perfect and polished or neat by any means.、Um, it's really just an exercise, a mind exercise, if you will, to explore something that's probably sitting in the back of your mind for the longest time. You just haven't really been able to access it, or you haven't really given the space and time to access it. And we found this particularly helpful because、um, you know when, at least when I'm writing, and there's a lot of things that. I, you know, like patterns that start to emerge that I didn't realize before、mm-hmm. that those things meant so much to me, and I think same to you.、Yeah. And when we, you know, afterwards we basically had a very productive conversation、mm-hmm. about, you know, first we compared the notes and we shared things that we both find surprised about、mm. um, our own and also each other's、um, writing as well as. You know things that certainly ring tr- ring true for us that we resonate. Oh, okay, so this is a very good introduction of about this exercise.、Mm-hmm. And Effie, would you like to share some part of like your response, your writing? Yeah. So <clears throat> again, so I think it's up to you to decide how much or how little you wanna, you know, share. I guess.、Um, Verbatim with the other person. What we did is that we actually, I think I, you you saw my original、yeah. passage and I saw yours. But then, you know, obviously our our own writing is kind of like our own style. So parts、mm-hmm. of it is not eligible, and I, I I don't really, you know, I ask you to summarize it for me, and also you certainly ask some of、uh, parts that you didn't really understand. So it's again like it's completely up to you how much. Um, you want to share、yeah. um, the original version. In our case, we did share our original writing.、Mm-hmm. Um, I'll, here, I'll I'll just read a couple of lines in my passage.、Um, so <laughs> I wrote in the beginning. I think I want to be someone who can help other people. And interesting that I said I think I want to、mm-hmm. be.、Um, And providing valuable insights about myself from my lived experience, but also influence others by sharing my most authentic self. So this authentic self kind of emerged throughout my past,、uh, my passage as well.、Um, and then another thing, I am also a loving partner, <laughs>、uh, someone who knows the value of supporting others. And know that everyone is fighting a battle of their own.、Um, 
um, I said I want to experience all that is beautiful, the grounds and the historical sites, the arts and humanity, everything that has of uh, aesthetic value because they are forged through time and humanity. Um, so on and so forth. So yeah, yeah. Um, what about uh, some of the things that you would like to share with us? Um, actually, like my response has very, very common interest with artists. Mm -hmm. So what I wrote is I want to explore like this, the world I live in and to see the beautiful sceneries, explore the history of human humanity and the pure, pure arts like music, paintings and all those beautiful things. Talking to the masters who has done their best and to learn what they have achieved. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting that we both kind of envisioned or put ourselves in the scenario where we are already living that, um, which, you know, to our pleasant surprise, which is something very similar. Um, so we find, you know, common ground. I mean, we already knew this, but we didn't mm -hmm. know that, you know, in this 10 minutes exercise, we, that actually became one of the themes yeah. that came across is that we both have a very strong interest in learning about, you know, the arts and humanities. Um, so yeah, and what about things that surprised you, Lincoln? The things that surprised me is I find out I'm already, I'm kind of like obliged to my planning because I'm the kind of mm -hmm. person who would like to do the planning if the like things actualize like not follow my schedule. I'm kind of like nervous or not mm -hmm. feeling good. Yeah. So for this, like, kind of like surprised me. So how about you? What surprised you, Abby? <laughs> Can I just comment on what you just said? Sure. I feel like that's something. It's so true. You, but it's also something that we. That's you know why we complement mm -hmm. each other so well is that, I mean, he is such a great planner. Where in my own private life, um, I just don't really want to plan. I kind of just, you know live through things spontaneously a little bit so i definitely rely on you when you know there is a for example for for uh, you know during quarantine we need to carefully plan our you know uh, groceries and things that needs to be you know pre-ordered or i need to like foresee in two weeks or three weeks in advance what we need and take a stock in our current inventory um and lincoln is great in that superb i would say and i have to this day i have no idea like how much grocery we need <laughs> and how much we still need to plan for um so yeah that's something that i definitely think is your superpower <laughs> yeah for me um what surprised me is something that i already gave it away so i said i am a loving partner and which i was surprised because I never thought I I would I am capable of you know completely loving someone in a sense that I accept you for who you are. Before I always find myself like um, not like super judgmental, but I always have a set of criteria or expectations that sometimes I just don't say, and I just kind of you know I. I just want the other person to ultimately know what's expected of them in this relationship, which is just totally ridiculous. Uh, you just, you should communicate and if not over communicate, if you have expectations in whatever kind of relationship, right? Yep. Um, but you know, from just, you know, our relationship and how we, you know, from since we met and now living together, I find that, you know, I just completely let it go. Like I just not, I don't, I'm not, I, <laughs> I'm not the contr control freak, if you will, like I used to be. <laughs> I think with you, because you're already, you kind of know your stuff so well. Um, and, you know, he's completely like in control of his own life, at least from my perspective. And I just find myself just understanding so much more by just observing how much you give in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And I just find, you know, it's just easy and natural for me to be your loving partner. So yeah. thanks to you for, for enabling me to be this loving partner that I, I want to be. <laughs> and thank you for your support. Oh, thanks. So what about what rings true to you? Like you resonate. Mm. 
lot. For me, I think my interest in the world and not only like in the like how the universe work and how the mechanics work, but also how what is what is art or what is the art, what is or history, like from the ancient Egypt and to Europe history and to Chinese history, as a human being, what is our legacy and what we bring to this world? And that is like very me. Mm. Yeah. Nice. So how about you? That is very profound, I would yeah. say. For me, I mean, that 100%, I also find that um, relatable. Um, so one of the things that I said here is that I actually want to have a community of like-minded people. And I find it's interesting when we share this, and, and you certainly, you ask me a lot of questions. I, I find mm -hmm. those questions are really good. For example, you ask me, okay, so um, a community of like-minded people um, rings true, true to you, but what do you, what do you want to do with them? Um, what is, you know, what do you expect to get from, from that experience? And also, how do you, um, how are you going to make it happen? So you make it more like tangible. You ask them really tactical question, mm -hmm. if you will, to make me think even deeper about, okay, so if this is something that I want to do, then, you know, what, 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 what could be the way to materialize that? And also what's my purpose and help me think through, um, that is very helpful. Yeah. I think it's another benefit you can share with your partner because 10 minutes, you can only like write certain stuff mm -hmm. and just, we, or we can say it's a, like exploration or it's a talk be, like with yourself and this process can let you understand more about who you are and by add, for something you might not fully understand by like sharing with others and by others asking questions okay why you will you want this and what is the motivation behind that can make mm. you and your partner more understand each other Mm, definitely and also like we said I mean this is a topic that's um, sort of assigned to me mm -hmm. um, who am I when I give myself per full permission but what we envision uh, going forward we definitely will do this again um, we'll we'll kind of choose our own topic um, yeah. and we also find it's useful to perhaps help you prep your mind prime your mind to get into the space the writing space is to do a 10 minutes meditation uh, so that's what we did before we even started writing because you know as we all know that we live um, a rather hectic life even during quarantine you know you have other things on your mind um, so before you do this I, I mean we highly recommend that you find you know quiet space and quiet your mind a little bit so a guided meditation or just a meditation of your own style um, can really help you prep your mind yeah so that is for today a 10 minutes free writing exercise will help you understand you and your partner better so let us know if you have um, an interest to try it out and we want to know how it you know works for you or you have any interest topics topics would like to share with us yeah definitely We'll see you in our next episode. Bye-bye.